Okay, so, so find angle PQR, PQR, so it's going to be that one there. O is the center of the circle. So it's drawing the diagram out there. What we've got to realize here is that this triangle here, this length here is the same as this length here because they equal radii. Therefore, we have an isosceles triangle. So angle POR, POR is an isosceles as this length here, OP, is the same as OR, equal radii. So angle PRO, PRO, so this angle here, is also equal to 36, because that's the base angle of the isosceles triangle. And then angle POR, POR, this one here, will be 180 minus 2 times 36, or 180 minus 36 minus 36, the angle sum of a triangle in POR is going to be 108. So now we've got the situation where this is the angle at the center and this is the angle at the circumference. So this is one that we wanted to find. So that's just going to be a half times 108. Angle at the circumference is half the angle at the center. Remember that idea? That's just going to give me 54 degrees. Okay, so there's been a video to show you how to use an isosceles triangle and then use the resulting angle to find an angle at the circumference. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.